All right, so I got the welder here, and it's warming up. So you got a facer that has that disc on there, and then you got an iron. So you put the facer in here, run the hoses, and then put the iron in there, and then weld the hoses. Uh, but I gotta cut the end of the hose first because it comes crimped. So I'll, I'll cut it, try and be somewhat accurate, and then we'll clean it with some alcohol, and then we'll face it, then we'll weld it. in there and make sure that the face has all been cut. Now everything is nice and clean. I'm not going to touch with my fingers. The bolt. This one, if you look in the light, there's a little spot on the far side where that bring that holes in more I'm going to set my clock or stopwatch and it's going to be about 32 seconds to heat the iron once it's up to temperature so I'll make sure it's up to 450 degrees and then at 32 seconds then I'll pull it off and weld it. So it, it, I set the little lock, so there's just a little slight pressure, but you can see, maybe you can't, but I, I hope it shows up in camera. You can see the double lip in there, and uh, you see I wasn't doing a whole lot of pressure. So in a few more seconds, I can then disconnect this, and the pipe should be fused, and then we have no fittings or joints underground, and the the weld should be as strong as any other piece of pipe. So if the weld can break, any piece of the pipe can break. It's now a continuous solid piece of pipe. So I should be able to, to start to flex it. And you can see that the pipe out by my hands is flexing before that joint. I'll bring you in so you can see what it looks like. And that's what it looks like. Just a nice perfect little ring all the way around, very even on both sides. That's a nice weld. That's a nice weld. The only place I'll have a joint underground is uh, at the T for the hydrant. But they're, they're, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm I'm trying to beat this rain. It's been coming and going. Uh, so we got we got that end set where the water fountain's gonna be. I got the thread end fused on, 
and a, a piece of pipe set in the ground in case the ditch collapses. I don't have to re-dig it. Got this laid, came in here, got the hydrant spliced in, and uh, uh, so you fuse a, a pipe thread on each end of the, you know, you just cut the hose and fuse a pipe thread on and did a brass tee and some brass bushings into the bottom of the hydrant. There was a deformity in the pipe and you can kind of see how it it's off the, their elevations were weird and uh, so i trimmed it back and it was still weird so i trimmed it back a little more and did a dry run and then it third time's a charm it, it worked out and so i don't know kind of weird but it probably still would have been because you got a bead on the inside as well you, that probably would have been just as strong as the original pipe, but I didn't want to risk it. And that concludes our waterline installation. Next episode will be the drinking fountain and get ready for concrete. <laughs>